Good afternoon, guys. Sun is shining, birds are singing. S A two N. Nano VNA Sierra Alpha Alpha two N. Um, this is the version two uh, we've been waiting for a while to come out. Version two, they will scan frequencies up to three gigahertz. What's in the box? Okay, very nicely presented case, uh, carry case, should I call it. Surprisingly enough, the unit is equi equipped with um, N connectors. So all of your uh, open, load and short, as well as that joiner for two cables is all uh, N based. You got a guitar pick stylus um, and a USB cord. The unit is in a metal case. The inch, uh, the the screen is four inch um, diagonally, and uh, yeah, really, um, I'm really surprised. The unit itself is as solid as a really, really nice work. And I have to say that I, I like the uh, end connectors for a change. I think I've got tired of those uh, SMAs uh, there for a bit. All right, so uh, in terms of the software, uh, now this one is uh, fairly different from the previous F model I have reviewed, as uh, they come from uh, different developers. Now, I will leave the link uh, in the description below, but um, this one here requires you to install some sort of drivers. You'll follow that on the screen there uh, right now. Um, and um, after you have uh, installed the drivers, you can download the, uh, the software. The software is called the Nano QT, so that's Quebec Tango, Nano QT. I'm really sorry, and this could be my personal opinion, but uh, the software actually looks quite poor compared to the uh, Nano VNA Saver, which was the, uh, the software for the previous um, F model, or the software developed by the BH5 um, H and U. You'll see it in a second, that it's uh, very plain, uh, but there's good news. And the good news is that the uh, the SAR 2N actually would will work with Nano VNA Saver, or should I say, Nano VNA Saver supports the version two hardware. Well, we'll get to it in in one second. But as you can see from uh, uh, from the screen uh, there, it's uh, very plain uh, compared to um, the previous software. I think I already said this three times. I'm sorry, but it's just. Uh, yeah, a bit disappointing, but here we go. This is the uh, Nano VNA Saver. Yeah, connector device there, you found it on a COM, COM port 5. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. I have done the uh, calibration there. And I have to say, it's uh, quite a different feel uh, doing the calibration uh, using the Nano, uh, do, using the um, N connectors rather than the SMAs. Can imagine the difference in size. The end connectors are very well marked. Each one of them has actually got the engraved uh, text on the back saying open, short, and load. And the the cables themselves are, are quality, uh, made out of the RG142, with terminated with the male um, end connectors on both ends. And you got two of them. So same thing as. Um, as um, all of the other previous nanos just uh, either hook it up to the pc or do a calibration on the unit itself one uh, plus though is that i've noticed that the screen responsiveness is uh, somehow um, has somehow been improved compared to the f model f model has been known for the uh, the fact that its uh, screen or well, touch screen calibration wasn't the the best out of all them all and um, yeah but this one here seems to be perfect um, the unit itself has uh, uh, three buttons uh, pretty much uh, like the uh, nano f so um, up down in the middle select and uh, on the back we got a sticker there saying it's a uh, 5 watt usb powered and it's 50 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz uh, frequency range all right so unit's got, it's got a bit of a weight to it so Again, compared to the F, probably one and a half times, and compared to the compared to the H4, probably about three times in terms of the weight. But oh my God, is this thing solid? I mean, on on, on all of the previous models, I was I was scared to connect some heavy cables like I don't know, RG213 or LMR400 directly to the unit because of those little fragile SMA connectors. I was always worried that you know I'm gonna snap them off. 
but with this one here you won't be having those problems that's for sure really really solid um, in terms of the build quality and the display size is um, yeah well, just a touch smaller than the f4 f4 was uh, 4.3 and this one's four inch so yeah no problems there in terms of reading it and i wear glasses so trust me uh, this thing is uh, is uh, is pretty good yeah, so in terms of the software, the original software that they recommended to use was a bit of a disappointment uh, one more time, but I was going to say, um, uh, yeah, you can use uh, Nano Saver there, as you can see it on the screen there, so there's no problems at all. Um, I think um, I had some initial teething issues in connecting it there, but once I got it connected, the, the unit actually displayed on a screen, on a screen um, USB connection um, active, so that was good so there's a calibration process there with the using the calibration assistant from the nano vna saver yeah no problems at all pretty much like all the other versions follow the bouncing ball and you'll get there i'm really used to this uh, software the nano vna saver it's a brilliant piece of tech and uh, really useful uh, you can change lots of parameters there and, and multiple screens as well um, as in multiple slices of the screen compared to the other one they offered with this with this product uh, which only had like the Smith's chart and, and one and one little uh, window there all right so well uh, that's pretty much it um, in reality to sum it up and connectors on the bottom uh, and female that is on, on both port one and port two or channel zero and channel one three buttons up down and middle select power button on the side and the usb connect on the top frequency range uh, 50 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz and a very solid build 4 inch uh, display all right all right so i think i should mention that again this is my personal opinion but if somebody has offered me this and uh, nano vna f well i'm not sure um, I, I like the nano vna f for various reasons but then i like the end connectors on this one i'm not sure that i am completely sold on the um, actual um, shape of the case there's a bit of a funny bottom there uh, with some raised um, aluminium um, and i'm assuming this will just uh, in order to uh, i don't know to stand it up or protect those connectors um, at the bottom but yeah I don't know once again um, this unit feels like a tank this is a very solid build unit and um, and very nicely presented uh, in a nice carry case so that will be another plus um, I would say but yeah I have to say I'm in love with the end connectors um, absolutely love them adore them but I like the F as well so I don't know up to you the new firmware on the F on the F model will do up to 2.7 apparently. Well, I know for the fact they will do it in terms of being able to key it in, but the, the accuracy of that 3 or 2.7 gig uh, readout is a, a, a big question mark for the Nano VNA F. This one here has uh, some brilliant reviews in terms of the accuracy uh, all the way up to 3 gig. But I'm pretty sure you'll make up your own mind. All right, so that concludes my presentation. I would like to thank you for your attention uh, and ongoing support. And like always, until the next time, stay safe and 73s. All the very best.